I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the October 21st, 2017 edition of the weekly investment news show. I win TV, where you win, because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity markets and interest rate risk. Then we'll have a brief discussion of the current value of Bitcoin. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 84% winners and 16% losers. The average winning return is 51% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 606% since it came into the portfolio two years ago. The average loss is 5% with the worst stock, gold mining company Can Ross Gold Corporation losing 14% since it was purchased about a month and a half ago. Here are the recent buys and sells. This week the natural selection algorithms bought and sold three stocks. They bought the metal fabricator Allegheny Technologies, the healthcare information services provider Cerner Corporation, and the diversified computer systems company Hewlett Packard. The three companies sold were, the communication equipment company Blackberry, the regional airline Southwest, and the money center bank PNC. So now for a read of the equity markets. The risk in the equity markets increased slightly this week. The risk level of the Dow Jones Industrial Average increased from very low risk to low risk, while the S&P 500 remained flat at low risk. The risk level of both the Nasdaq 100 and Russell 2000 remained flat at moderate risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk remained flat at moderate this week. This indicates a slight risk of increasing rates. Last week the interest rate metrics were improving, but this week the interest rate indicators have begun to degrade again. We will keep an eye on this evolving situation for you. This week Bitcoin crossed the $6,000 per coin threshold for the first time. Many are speculating Bitcoin is in the bubble, but it is too soon to tell. When we look at the daily US dollar transaction value of goods and services, our measurement shows the price of Bitcoin continues to pretty much track the underlying transaction values. However, in the past few weeks it appears the US dollar transaction values have been lagging the price of Bitcoin. To us this says either the price of Bitcoin must come down, or the transaction dollar values must increase. Other than this recent anomaly, there appears to be a healthy relationship between the price of Bitcoin and the US dollar value of goods and services being transacted using Bitcoin. Until next week, we'll be watching the markets for you. To bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. Thank you for watching. I win TV. See what others can't.